Oops. <laughs> so this is a private moment, but I just had to share this. I am showering from a bamboo pipe-ish and oh my gosh, the vegetation here, the smell is just incredible all around me. I'm showering in the middle of a bamboo, um, I don't know what you call this, swirly circle and then look above me, it's nothing but trees. It really smells of vegetation, like showering under nature, in nature, is just absolutely magical, it's crazy. I would highly suggest staying in the Mango Eco, Eco Resort. It's not comfortable, it's a little bit off the grid, but it's something that I love and if you're like me, absolutely worth it. Oops, wrong. <laughs> look at that, oh my gosh. And at night, I could see the moon right above my head. Wow, wow, wow. Hello! So today's gonna be a very busy day. I thought of making this video now before it gets too chaotic later on. Right now I'm currently checked in at Dumaguete Flying Fish. I absolutely love this place, although it is called a hostel. For me, I think this is a very decent, clean, spacious type of hostel. So I highly recommend Flying Fish just because of my experience. The staff is great. The spaciousness, I mean, it's kind of messy at the moment just because I'm already packing and I didn't even bother to clean the room anymore before recording the video just because I wanted it to be raw and natural. So anyway, this is their basic room, although it does come with a toilet. So I mean, basic, sometimes you have shared toilets and all. I won't even walk you through the toilet anymore. There's a nice shower head over there. Um, it's really basic stuff. There's um, a sink, a clean toilet, they also provide shampoo, soap, and hand wash. So I mean, I'm very, very happy with this. It's 1,200 pesos per night. And if you have a senior card or a PWD, they will also honor that. But the agenda for today going back is we are heading off to a ho another hostel. This time it's going to be an eco hostel called the Mago Eco Treehouse Hostel, if I'm not mistaken. And that place is also made entirely from bamboo. I love how sustainable a lot of the structures are here. I'm saying that, but everything here is made out of cement. But like, check this out. I'm pretty sure this chair is recycled. And if you notice the design of this place is pretty shabby chic. Your eyes will never get bored. You've got a bamboo um, hanging rack over there. And it's just great. I really love this place. It's very quirky and there's a lot of attitude. But that's our agenda so far for today. So. Hey 
Okay, so that's a really squeaky sounding door, but I've just checked in my new Biko hostel. This is called Mango Tree House. Still part of Negros Oriental, but this is like in the Dawan area. It's very peaceful right now. I feel like if I don't take this video, it's not going to be as raw and authentic. So here I am. It's pretty late. Well, 10 p.m. is late, I guess, in the province. But I think tomorrow we'll see a better... Uh, we'll get a better picture of this place when there's sunlight. But I wanted to show you something really important. Oop, found the stairs. I say important because it's like usually if you've seen my other videos, I always stay in places that are a little bit, I don't know, what do you call it? It's not as native, not as out of my comfort zone, aka hotels, resorts, or whatnot. But this place is an eco hostel, which means there's no AC. In fact, my room only has an electric fan, which is fine. However, there is no mosquito net. So I actually got bitten already by a mosquito. So I'm just hanging on to the fan, hoping that the fan will protect me from getting bites from any mosquitoes. But I think the reason why I'm doing this is because I just want to be a little bit more grounded, I suppose. The good thing is the Wi-Fi works very well here. Good Wi-Fi. Uh, the sh there's a shower. Um, what I wanted to show you was I just actually took the most incredible shower. There's some nice details there, which we'll see better later on or tomorrow when there's sunlight. And so I don't know if the camera's going to catch this, but here we go as you enter. This is my shower. All my things are still there. It's my cell phone. There are some hooks to hang your stuff. And everything in this hostel is made from recycled material. And so as you can see, this used to be like a soda bottle. And then you've got like just, I don't know. They, they provide soap actually, but... What would you call this? I was gonna say it's, it's a rack, but it's more of like a hanging thing where you put your stuff. Actually, I think it's... Anyway, if you do decide to come here, make sure you have a caribbeaner so that you can hang yourself and check this out. You must be wondering where is the knob for, <laughs> for the water. It's like really hidden here. And then look at that. And aside from that, I don't know if you can see the moon. That is the most beautiful view ever. So imagine you're taking a shower here and you are surrounded by all these beautiful trees and that moon is just so magical. You are literally showering under the moonlight. No door, nothing here, but just like a little swirly entrance. I'm gonna see you tomorrow when there's daylight. <laughs> it's quite an interesting place. I hope I get to sleep well. I've got one. Rumi, I'm staying at the dorm. She's a Filipina, but she worked in Canada for 15 years. Her name is Natasha. Um, yeah, she's just been really friendly, and it's nice to have someone to talk to. We're the only two people here in this entire place. I'll catch you in the morning. I just realized I forgot to show you what the floor is like. It's all stones, and um, yeah, there must be a drainage somewhere there. And I also hope that the camera is catching the sound of the crickets and this. I can hear some tuko as There you go. That's all nature. <laughs> Plus a little bit of the sound of um, some tricycles outside. But yeah, this is quite amazing. I should start to get to sleep because even if it's only 10 p.m. here, People wake up around 5 a.m. so I want to make sure I get some good rest. <laughs> I've got a friend here, I don't know if you can see him. I'm about to go upstairs, that's where we're staying. But one last look at the moon. So yeah, the moon against all these bamboos in, in Tagalog or in Visayas, Kauaian. But yeah, check it out. It's been a wonderful day. Ooh, look at Hi! What you doing? Oh, you're growling at me. 
You're growling at me. Mama. <laughs> That's my cue. Good night, everyone. Good morning! First day here at the Mango Eco Tree House. Um, I was actually preparing some carrots. I brought my Swiss knife with me. I'm just peeling off the skin and if you've seen my previous video, I actually brought my smoothie maker. And the reason for that is because, I don't know, I just try to be healthy here while I'm traveling. Uh, usually for breakfast in Filipino setting, they serve things like tap silog, long silog, or just whatever, ulam with rice. So I have meat or fish, but I think I kind of want to go for something healthy. So I'm having raw carrot and I'm going to peel this banana. They're going to make ourselves a delicious smoothie. <laughs> I actually haven't given you a tour at the moment. So we're going to go around and see what this place is like during the day. Because last night I got here around 10 p.m and yeah taking a shower outside was just so magical just because i was right under the moonlight and it was such a an awesome experience i mean even if you stay in all these expensive fancy resorts you sometimes won't get direct moonlight right above your head and for me this is such a crazy experience because it's 250 pesos a day to stay here, which is like, I don't know what's that in um, in US dollars. That would be maybe 5, 15, 20, 5. Maybe just a little bit under 6 US dollars per night. I'm just going to smoosh this in. And then I'm going to see you outside later. We're going to go get some water for this. I actually forgot I have my little tumbler here. And I got my water previously from the last uh, accommodations. So how I like to make my smoothies, I just put a little bit of water there. And so that when I blend this up, it gets smoother. Whereas if I put too much water instantly, it just kind of everything goes all together and it doesn't uh, blend it as smooth. I'll show you where I'm staying right now. I'm in the dorm actually. And you can see that this whole place is made out of bamboo. And the sun is like seeping in a little bit. It's around 8 a.m. And I'm just wanting to see what it's like during lunchtime because lunchtime is when the sun really starts to hit. I have one roomie over there. She's Filipina, but she worked in Canada for six, oh no, 15 years. And so it's quite nice because we're two girls and I don't have to worry about my sleeping position. Um, if, like, if I'm like pukaka or my legs are little bit like that or my shorts are going up, it's, yeah, I feel I feel a little bit more comfortable knowing that um, I'm beside someone who's also my age and she's a female. Um, I'll show you a bit later on the ladders there leading upstairs, but I think this place can supposedly fit about eight people. Oops, not plugged. Oh, one thing I would advise if you're staying in places like this is they usually have only two or three sockets. Well, in my previous place, it's only two. I bring my extension cord. I think it's absolutely practical. Let's give this a little... Oop, it's not, still not working. Um, let's have a look and see. There's a, quite a lot, lot of wires here. Oh, here we go. I think this is it. It's still not working. Oh no. What's happening? Oh, do you know what it is? I actually didn't... That's crazy. I actually didn't plug this in the right place. Uh, traveling with a smoothie maker is the most portable thing you can do and like one of the healthiest investments you can make while you're traveling not unless you you are keen to go out every morning or every other day to buy yourself a smoothie but I think this is so practical so like you can see I added just very very little water and it makes it so smooth already whereas if I added so much water like this it just doesn't blend as well so right now this is done let's go grab some water Okay, Ooh, let's do this. Right, oh, I just realized the ceiling's actually not so high. I'm only about 5'2", 
But um, yeah, as you can see, the entire place is made out of bamboo. Okay. And um, truth be told, when someone's walking outside, the entire structure actually moves. So while I was laying down, I was like, it felt like an earthquake. But um, check out these bamboo designs. It's quite cool. Very, very, very nice detail. And um, let's turn on the light so you can see what it's like a little bit. Actually, no, let's not turn on the light. I just want to show you all the little seeps that the bamboo um, has and the sun is just penetrating through so if you get these beds up here let's actually go up and see what it's like okay. yeah so i think you're meant to fit three more people up here but definitely that sun is going to be catching onto your face so i'd rather stay down there in fact i don't know if you noticed but um there's this odd mattress which I actually put there. The sun that was coming through that window, window or like it's not even a window because you can't totally close it. It's just like this. It was just going all the way straight to me where my bed is over there. And so I think that this mattress was just perfect just to block the sun if I wanted to sleep in a little bit more. And I also put my shades there which I took with me from Manila just to block all the seeping sun inside because you know if you want to get like proper sleep make sure you don't have sun uh, blinding your face so anyway let's head downstairs uh, very very squeaky door there check this out look at all of these like little recycled stuff <laughs> and this is natasha she's my roomie <laughs> having her brekkie it's only about i don't know almost 9 a.m and there's a really nice hammock and a cat there who's actually really friendly he's trying to get a belly rub from me oop, 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 oop. is it gonna touch yeah it's touched hey kitty kitty and i don't know your name but you're always wagging your tail you're so friendly i, I know that that's the life huh you're living the island life but anyway, this place is really cool because according to Carl, who is managing the place while the owners are gone. Um, actually, there he is. Looks so busy. Looks like he's holding a pot for uh, for cooking. But according to Carl, he says that the entire place is made from recycled material, if not sustainable material. So as you can see, all of this is made from junk food packaging. Um, and yeah, just all recycled stuff. It's very quirky and it adds, I suppose it adds character to the place. And again, more bamboo on the floor. But I actually haven't gone up here just yet. But I think, um, according to Carl as well, that if you didn't want to stay in the dorm, there's another option for you to sleep up there. But let's check it out. Oh, uh, yeah, so there's some pillows here. So you can just chill out there. Otherwise, you can also... It's an option for you to sleep. A place for you to sleep. Ooh, ooh, oh, someone's hungry. Oh, giving you puppy eyes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> anyway, I don't think the dogs here are going to go hungry. I'm sure there's loads of food all the time. But again, more bamboo detail here. And I think this is like, I don't know, kugon or some, again, native material from from the leaves actually I just learned this yesterday that bamboo is actually a grass it's not like a tree or anything so yeah just very interesting information and so here you have it there's some monkey bars a slide again made from bamboo there's actually a bar over here they're closed at the moment just because I don't know I suppose they're trying to recover from the pandemic there aren't that much customers just yet but if we look at the at the menu Bacon and eggs, 180 pesos. House burger, bacon and garlic. There's some French fries or chips. Um, pork, chicken, schnitzel. <laughs> it's been underlined. I don't know what that means, but uh, maybe that's their specialty. Oh, egg. Do you know what? Egg is actually something I would probably get. Egg and some oats that I have. I know it seems weird, but instead of rice, I like to use oatmeal. Just look at that structure that is the winning structure i mean it looks oh my gosh you are always rubbing your what do you want what do you want you're always oh, 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 oh. wow 
what? You're always rubbing yourself on my leg. I'm not even a cat person, but this cat's just going to me all the time. Anyway, check out the structure. It is amazing. It just looks like a mecca, a bamboo mecca. But um, here you have your pong. For anyone who likes to, <laughs> to play beer pong, I'm just going to fill this up with some water. I'm really starving. Definitely cooking up an appetite. I rode here yesterday from Dumaguete. Must have been about 30 to 40 minute ride. And this place is pretty basic, so cold. Let's see. Let's see if it's actually cold because I was told that Queer Car, they close, they turned this off just to save on electricity. But um, so far it seems cold. Yeah. Woohoo. Do you know what? Like living in places like this, small things become such a luxury. So simple things like if you have cold water or warm water, it just yeah, it, it's it's a simple thing, but I appreciate that so much. I mean, having a smoothie with that view. Look at that view. It's just there's even like a carabao just straight ahead. I don't know if you can see it, like a buffalo. That's just amazing. See, we're like there's no buildings around. No construction noise. Saying that, touch wood, we don't know what's going to be constructed there anytime in the near future. Hopefully, none. Wow, I can smell the carrots right away. Mmm. Have some, guys. It's like really sweet. The carrots are so sweet. But anyway. Hey, you. Hello. Did you hear something? Want some? Anyway. Check out the chairs too. There's so I don't know. It's it's quirky. Whoops. And I don't know if you can hear the sound of the birds, but I woke up this morning feeling like I was in Bali or something. It just felt very meditative. The sound of the birds chirping. Um, a little bit of the motorbikes from a distance, but usually just all nature and nothingness, which slept so well. I was actually expecting. Oop, Mr. Doggy Doggy, do you like some of this? Nah. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting to sleep very well just because there's no AC, there's no mosquito net. I actually did the opposite. I slept so well. Um, I think these are probably local artists. And again, all the... Ooh, what's going on there? What are they? Ooh, let's not go near them. Ooh, they're like flying around me. <laughs> We're in nature. Um, definitely like all natural, no chemicals here, no sprays. But again, all natural detail, bamboo lights bamboo structure I don't know what's inside this maybe some storage oh, let's not open it yeah definitely just cleaning material so let's continue on I think I'll show you first the toilet so if you are pretty sensitive to places like toilets, you might want to skip this part. But yeah, I've got a sink here if you want to do your toothbrush. And again, you have... It's kind of cool because they feel, they fill up these plastic bottles with like more stuff inside. I don't actually know what they fill it up with. More junk. And it serves as... Um, it adds to the cement. So instead of consuming or using cement, the plastic actually becomes part of that. And that's pretty cool. So... Again, you've got a sink, you've got a mirror. Hi, actually, this is the first time I'm seeing myself. I don't even know. I didn't know how I looked like a while ago when I turned on the camera. There's no mirrors upstairs and I don't have a mirror as well. So yeah, that's just some quirky design, huh? Ooh, hammerhead shark. But yeah, you get the point. It's really, really, really quirky. And basically there are three toilets in total and they all pretty much look the same. Oh no. Oh, this one doesn't have that much bottles, but it's got this bamboo detail to hang your stuff. It's just got the plastic bit over there. Okay, let's head now to the shower. Oh my god, the shower. Do you know what? Staying here from either... I think two things that I absolutely love, just I can think about at the moment, is number one, the shower. I'm showering under the moon. Look at this structure. It's got like a swirly bit. It just rolls all the way here. And when you go inside, you put this if you want to tell people not to go in and there's a naked lady inside. So walk, walk, walk. Look at my floor. It's just so nice. Everything's natural. 
the water comes through this bamboo. Let's turn it on so you can see. Look at that. That's beautiful, huh? Oh my god. Of course I got wet, but whatever. <laughs> so showering, look up this. There's like, you've got trees just going there and the, the moon right above me was just right over there. But it's just a really nice experience. And if you're wondering where to put all your toothbrushes or soaps, you've got hangy things here. So be sure to bring your toiletries in a bag that has a caribbiner or a hook so you can hang it on properly. So there's two showers in total. One, two. I actually haven't seen this one. I'm thinking it's obviously going to be a sa the same. I think the path is a little bit narrower. And yeah. Definitely more shaded with trees. You won't be seeing the moon over here in the second shower. So I quite like the, the first one a lot more. So staying over there, which is our dorm, is 250 pesos. And these, these ones are 600 pesos. Um, what are the perks, right? Aside from your privacy or your privacy... Let's see. Oh. Uh, you will have a mosquito net. So believe it or not, that's like a perk for paying 600 pesos. Let's turn this on. But anyway, I can't turn it on at the moment. I hope you can see it very well. There's a mosquito net over there, a bigger bed. And again, you've got your sockets and a little bit of storage room and an electric fan. <laughs> I think that's what you're paying. Well, no, we also have an electric fan upstairs, but I think what it is is you're really, oh, you're really paying for a bigger space, your privacy and the mosquito net. However, seeing that you're, not, you're right next to the road. So I don't fancy hearing the sound of the vehicles that much. Um, it looks like there are one, two, well, this one has become like a laundry area. So I don't think it's guest ready at the moment. Maybe not. So at the moment, there's one, two, and three. Three accommodations there. And I'm pretty sure they look all the same. Oh my God, look at this flower. I'm sorry if this video is getting boring, but I absolutely love staying in nature. Look at that. What flower is that? Can anyone tell me? I'm from the Philippines, but I don't even know what flower that is. But just look at all of my surroundings. It's just literally me and nature and my roommate, Natasha. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Very, very nice. Ayo, ayong buntag. And again, you've got like more of these plastic details. It really helps to save on cement if you use these kinds of material, I suppose. I don't know what's inside. I can't just keep opening random doors. But, uh, ooh, check it out. I don't know if you're meant to actually chill here. Because sometimes, you know how they have uh, those details in hostels where it's like see-through nets and then you can just hang around there like a hammock almost. But there, there you go. If you're wondering what the size is of this place, it's about 700 plus square meter not that big but they i mean it's spacious enough oh hello oh where are you going wow oh, oh it's chasing oh i don't know jeez i don't know what's going on there animals here are so lively but um there you have it oh oh no oh no oh my gosh the dogs are kind of what's going oh it looked like the dogs were oh it looks like the dogs were bullying another dog or another animal oh that's so mean jeez there's a uh, uh, oh no <sighs> so unfortunately my gopro doesn't have a zoom but three of the dogs from here just ganged up on one dog no oh no that's terrible but um, anyway this is the pathway to the entrance you actually wouldn't even see the entrance from the main road i think they did that by design just to make it seem a little bit more private and exciting to enter that's the entrance that's the place from outside and what did you do what did you guys do cheeky little poopies who, who what did you do who did you <laughs> But yeah, that's the view. That's the view you're paying for. And I think if you walk here, I actually haven't explored this entire place. It just basically looks the same. Um, we're up in the mountains, so if you're wondering where the sea is, oop, this guy is very keen on what you what you what you looking at? What you looking at? What you looking at, puppy? What you looking at? 
if you're, if you're, oh my god, these dogs are just so distracting, jeez. They've got their little agenda today. Um, uh, this place where I am is just above Dawen and it's known for diving. If you're wondering where the sea is, it's down over there. If you'll stick around with me in my videos, we're going to take the motorbike to go up and check out the view of Apple Island and more of the view of the sea and the mountains as well. This is actually a very nice spot, but you won't see it just here because our land is pretty flat, but there you go. Bali vibes. Hashtag. Oops. <laughs> okay, guys. So I actually just noticed this now. <laughs> Look at all the plastic bottles over there. That's loads. That's loads. Look at that. I mean, yeah. I can't imagine how much uh, cement they were able to save on, but that's a lot of plastic bottles. Loads, loads stuck in. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my little smoothie for breakfast and then catch you later. Okay, a very important detail I forgot to mention. Their Wi Fi here is excellent. It's really, really fast. So, if anyone wants to try to steal their password and Wi Fi, a little bit of the house rules if you're staying in the hostel. Uh, no consuming of drugs <laughs> in the hostel, throwing your trash in the bin, no smoking in the dorm and huts. Uh, you gotta pay a carcage of 100 pesos if you are bringing food and drinks during a restaurant opening days. If that place is open, you are pushed or you're encouraged to buy food from there. No feeding of dogs and cats on the table. So if you're not on the table, you can feed them, I suppose. And that's just basically it. Um, I chose this place because it's really in the middle of nature. The Wi-Fi is good. It's clean. It's spacious. And yeah, I think the experience would have been different if there's a lot of people. I might not be able to sleep very well. So I might not I might not have stayed here if that is the case, but at the moment we're just two ladies in the resort. There's also a hammock there. I don't know how... Well, it's going to be scenic because you're facing that view, so that's quite nice. Though you're going to be under the stairs. But for now, this place is just really peaceful. It's not that hot at the moment. I know it gets really hot lunchtime around, I don't know, maybe 12 to 3. So we shall see. It's my first day here. Hopefully, this kind of weather stays the same because I'm banking on these trees to keep the place nice and cool and aside from these trees you also have these local materials um, usually those leaves help keep the place nice and cool so I'm really banking on that to keep the space properly insulated with cool weather oh there's yeah the, the flies here are a bit nuts I really don't know what's going on there but they're starting to charge after me and my drink Let's get out of here. Let's get out and head back to our dorms.